Alright, so now we're going to start to talk about the idea of slope of a line. Uh, first off, slope uh, is a numerical measure that actually looks at the rate of change of the y variable with respect to x. <coughs> and we actually do that comparison by division. So we take the uh, rate of change of y divided by the rate of change of x. Now if we have uh, for ourselves a straight line here, uh, we can mark on that straight line uh, its horizontal change uh, and its uh, vertical change as I've done here. The again change in X is this horizontal change right here. This measurement which in this picture would be 5 and the vertical change in Y here uh, which in this case would be from 1 up to 11 uh, would be a change of 10 so we do the fraction 10 divided by 5 uh, and we get that this thing actually has a slope of 2 now it actually doesn't matter uh, where you go on this triangle or where you go on this line graph if you would just start it right here all right, and look at this smaller triangle all right, and did a measurement this would have went from 2 to 5 would have been a change of 3 the vertical change would have went from 5 to 11 would have been 6 and you'd have gotten 6 divided by 3 and you'd still get 2 All right, so it doesn't matter because of uh, from geometry similar triangles once you have a triangle that's sitting along that line uh, and then you have this other part which is basically going to make it a right triangle then basically everything as far as those ratios are going to be fixed and so slope for a line, the rate of change for a line is constant and so we only have to find it once uh, with one pair of uh, points uh, and then we have it now we're going to get into some methods for finding slope in a little bit but first uh, let's just get a little understanding of what slope is so consider for example the fraction two-thirds uh, again slope is a fraction where the change in y is in the numerator and the change in x is in the denominator so here we would really say that two-thirds would mean that y would go up by two increase by two uh, whenever x increases by three because, but because of that picture that I had indicated again with the uh, bigger triangles in our picture from before that I had drawn uh, from our picture before uh, we had done it twice here and it was actually an increase of 10 and an in for y and an increase of 5 for x right, with the first the bigger triangle here that's going up 10 for y and going up 5 for x, 10 over 5 was 2 uh, and then we did it a second time here where the increase in y was 6 the increase in x is 3, 6 over 3 what we also could do is we can think of that instead of being 2 thirds uh, a fraction we can think of that as being 2 thirds actually over 1 and so we also could say that y is going to increase by two-thirds anytime x makes a one unit increase so there's a couple of different ways to take that fraction and interpret it uh, as a slope we can just take that number as the change in y and always take the change in x as one or again when we actually have a fraction like we do here uh, we can uh, also uh, talk about the uh, change in y as just the numerator and the change in x as the denominator. Uh, let's consider a second example. Here we have a slope of negative three-fifths. Now you've probably been told in the past uh, when you have a negative uh, number in a fraction uh, either think of that as being out front or think of that as being in the numerator uh, and we really want to do that when we talk about slope. If we have a negative think about it as applying to the numerator. In other words it's going to apply to y so the negative is going to cause y to be decreasing. y is going to go down 3 uh, and that's going to happen in this case anytime x goes up 5. You also could say that y goes down by 3 fifths 
any time x goes up by 5. Okay, so this is just an introduction to slope. Uh, in the next video, uh, we're going to start looking at some ways to find slope. Uh, review some of the different ways that we can find slope. So until then.